Some new poll numbers came out about Biden and the Democrats and the state of the country, and it is beyond disastrous. It is horrendous. So first, let me tell you a little bit about this ABC News Ipsos poll. Get this. 55% of the public is following news about the Build Back Better negotiations, um, at least somewhat closely. About 7 in 10, so the exact number 69% of Americans, said they know just some or little to nothing about what's in both of those bills. So they're somewhat following these negotiations, but they don't really know much of what's in the bills. Fewer than half, 31%, said they know a great deal or a good amount. 32% of Americans think the bills would hurt people like them if they became law. Only 25% of people say the bills would help them. Only 25% say these bills would help them. Nearly 2 in 10, only 18%, think the bills would make no difference, and 24% said they didn't know. That's incredible. Now get this. The American public is evenly divided 34% to 34% over whether they believe these bills would help or hurt the U.S. economy if they became law. Understand something. We've covered previous polls on this Build Back Better agenda, on the reconciliation bill. And when you go provision by provision, every single provision is amazingly popular. When you ask people about child care, elder care, universal pre-K, free community college, lower prescription drug prices, all the different provisions of the bill poll amazingly well. But I just told you, I just told you, 55% of the public, oh, I'm sorry, 70% of the public, 69% said they know just some or a little to nothing about what's in the bills. So that is a massive failure of not only the media, which it is a failure of the media, but also Democratic politicians. Democratic politicians have not educated the public about this. The media has not educated the public about this. So now only 25% of the public thinks that the original reconciliation bill would help them. When it is, a, it is an ironclad fact that that bill would help 90 to 95% of Americans. What a massive messaging failure and PR failure. Only 34 to 34, whether they believe this bill would help the U.S. economy, this would absolutely help the U.S. economy. So this is not supply-side economics, the right-wing nonsense idea. This is demand-side economics. This is giving people who need money and help some money and help, and that would reverberate throughout the U.S. economy. Now, listen, people say, well, is inflation an issue? It could be an issue... But the way you would handle that is to just tax the wealthy a lot. And so you're not flooding the entire economy with too much money. You're redistributing in the sense that you're giving people at the bottom and the middle goods and services and helping them out while also then in turn reducing the money supply by taxing the wealthy. So then that would be one way to handle any problems that might arise from inflation. And also you shouldn't be totally convinced that that's definitely going to be an issue. There's also supply chain issues that could... Uh, lead to, you know, problems on that front. But that's all you have to do. 34 to 34, whether they believe the bills would help the U.S. economy, as if child care and elder care and universal pre-K and uh, free community college and lower drug prices, if that wouldn't help the economy, of course it would help the economy. They, It's a massive, massive, massive failure on behalf of the Democrats. Now it gets worse. It gets worse. So Joe Biden, uh, polls came out at the same time now on how Joe Biden is doing as president. Take a look at this. 54% disapprove of Biden job performance. 71% say the U.S. is heading in the wrong direction. So only 42% approve of Joe Biden's job performance. Let me explain something to you. Joe Biden and the Democrats are absolutely toast unless they materially deliver right now and then brag about it relentlessly and frame the debate on their terms. And of course, they're going in the wrong direction on that front. They're stripping the bill of more and more popular provisions. And um, that's what the news is now. Here's the good thing that's out. Here's the good thing that's out. Here's the good thing that's out. So 
Paid family leave, out. Lower drug prices, out. Expanded Medicare coverage of dental and vision, out. Free community college, out. Increase in the top corporate tax rate, out. Increase in the billionaire tax, out. The Democrats have like a permanent, about a six point disadvantage in the midterms because there was no voting rights reform bill. There was no anti-gerrymandering. Um, so now they would need to win by six or more points nationally in order to just basically hold on to the numbers they have. And right now, they probably just lose even with the raw numbers. So they would get absolutely wiped out. It could be just like the Tea Party wave in 2010. And again, the reason is not because, oh, they did, they did too much and that scared away voters. No, it's they did too little. They didn't do nearly enough. If Joe Biden wanted to save the Democrats at the last minute, number one, you should apply massive pressure to Manchin and Cinema, threaten Manchin's family with prosecution over the EpiPen scandal, which they were directly involved in the price gouging, threaten them with prosecution and say, look, Joe Manchin, maybe I won't prosecute you and your family, but you have to vote for this $3.5 trillion bill. And if you do, then I'll look out for you. Then I'll be your best friend. Put another military base in West Virginia. Somebody in your family can come in my administration. Whatever you want. I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. You're going to choose. Put pressure on Manchin and Cinema to vote for the bill, but make it the entire $3.5 trillion reconciliation package. Now, on top of that, if Biden really wanted to save his ass and save his party's ass for the upcoming election and help save the country, this isn't just about politics, it's about policy, sign the executive order where you legalize marijuana, uh, free all the nonviolent drug offenders, um, abolish all student loan debt, all $1.73 trillion of student loan debt, and then the other thing I do if I was Joe Biden is pass another stimul stimulus bill that's um, basically UBI checks. Pass more stimulus checks. Give people a $2,000 check before the election and have your name on it. Sort of like Trump wanted to do with his. If you do those things, then Democrats have a, a chance. If they don't do those things, Democrats are going to get absolutely obliterated. I mean... So Joe Biden's popularity is absolutely plummeting. It's tanking. Why? Because COVID is still hurting the country massively. That's one thing. And the other thing is, when was the last time the Democrats delivered on something material for the people? The last round of stimulus checks, which was a while ago. So you're not helping out the people. And COVID is still doing a number on the country. And then, so beyond that, you'd think, well, well what's left? Fight to get this reconciliation bill through, but talk about the provisions and brag about the provisions. Make the media talk about the provisions. You know, th this is all you have. But the media is not educating people on the provisions, and the Democrats are not talking about the provisions, in part because now they're stripping out, like, most of them. God damn it, man. What a disaster. What a disaster. Look, we know the way out. The way out is to pass the full $3.5 trillion reconciliation package, do another round of stimulus checks, and sign those executive orders. And even then, you'd have to brag about it nonstop until the election to really have a chance. So, you need the stars to align for this, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.